it's quite possible that you are already working with a web service that is already connected to your autoresponder, or if you use a Weber, it's already connected. Now, in many cases, those integrations are direct. Affiliate networks, social media platforms, shopping carts, all of them have direct application and integrations with a Weber. However, in some cases, the integration is not as direct. And when that is the case, you'll see something like what we're about to showcase right now. For example, if we want to integrate GoToWebinar with a Weber, we would click this link. And we would find that this integration actually happens through a third party company called Zapier. So to start this process with GoToWebinar in a Weber, just as we would do with any other app that uses Zapier, we click the enable button. This will actually take us to the third party site Zapier. Now Zapier has both a free and paid account and you'll have to determine how much you'll be using based on the pricing. But you'll be able to see the potential integrations with GoToWebinar as well as AWeber. For example, you can add GoToWebinar registrants to an AWeber mailing list. So in other words, someone signs up for your webinar, they get automatically added to your AWeber list. Someone signs up to your AWeber list, they get automatically added to your GoToWebinar. So you'll have to choose the integration that you actually want, and then you'll need to get started with Zapier. And in this particular case, Zapier says you'll need a GoToWebinar account active and an AWeber account. That's going to be the case with any integration you do. You're going to need access to the services that you're going to want to integrate. In this case, we're working with GoToWebinar and AWeber. We're going to click Create This Zap. Now, GoToWebinar and AWeber require a premium trigger. So at some point in your process, you are going to have to pay Zapier in order to have this trigger happen. But we're going to click Continue. Now Zapier is going to require that we log in to go to webinar. Now we'll come back to Zapier once we've logged in and we're going to click continue. Now you're going to have access to the account that you are now logged into or you can connect a different go to webinar account. You want to click the test button to make sure that your account is actually working with Zapier. So go ahead and click the test button. You want to make sure that you have the green success button and then you'll click save and continue. You'll then select a webinar and then click continue. You'll then want to click fetch and continue. Once you click your test and you'll see that it's successful, you can then click continue. So the AWeber action is going to be to create a subscriber. We're going to click continue. We're going to test or connect an AWeber account and then click save and continue. So we've chosen our account, we've now chosen the list, and now what we want to do is to click continue. So we want to test the system through Zapier, so we'll click create and continue. We've actually already added this email to the list, so we'll skip the rest of the test and then click continue. And because this is a premium service, Zapier is going to look for a payment at this point. You can pay monthly or you can pay annually or choose to upgrade your account in order to continue with the integration. Now this integration is premium through Zapier. In some cases your integration will be direct. If you must have the integration then Zapier will be the easiest way to have that integration done and if not and you want to just do it manually you can do it that way. Okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video.